my acting career was uh, just another way of discovering myself. Mm -hmm. It's not that uh, I, I'm not sure I ever answered the question of what do you want to be when you grow up and I said I want to be an actress. I'm not sure I ever did that. What did you want to become growing up? A lawyer, actually. Oh, yeah, wow. Yeah. And um, the passion, the, the desire is still there. I okay. just haven't had the time. To do it. Uh, okay. Plus, when I hear of the, all the Makola things that they're talking about, uh -huh. then I'm thinking, okay, I don't want to do this no more. <laughs> it will take you and I to change the well, narrative. Perhaps, perhaps. But which roles were your favorite in acting? Any role that came with dancing. <laughs> true. Really? True, true, true. They, they say that sometimes when you act, people who watch movies see it to be real. So you have acted a wicked role, like a wicked mother. I have. And someone will see you and they're like, we were wicked. Very true. Have, have you had that experience? Listen, it, it was traumatic for me. <laughs> when Ghost Years, you know, I was in Ghost Years. Okay, yes. And uh, I was a wicked stepmother. Uh -huh. I don't even know who did, why they didn't cast Edina and I as, as mother and daughter. Okay. And I went to, I was with my girlfriend, Agnes Pamford, who I mentioned that earlier. Uh, yeah. Mm -hmm. And um, we were going to her sister's place at Nima Police Station. Okay. Oh, and then these kids closed from school. As soon as they saw me, go see a skill I didn't kill. <laughs> I mean, it was so bad. I, I can mean, imagine. I, 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 I mean, killer Nini. How did I become a killer? <laughs> you know, I, I didn't even think that <laughs> that is the effect that you this know? act did. And from that time, I was very, very particular about the rules. What, seriously, you I, I turned out a lot of, <laughs> I turned out a lot of scripts after that experience. I was so traumatized. Oh, they followed me shouting. No, Aisha, you're laughing today, but I mean, seriously. I can imagine. That really, that really disturbed me. Mm. That these children in their minds is looking at a woman. Real. As, it's real to them. Yeah. So I'm very conservative. Yeah. Because of the way I was raised. Yeah. So I knew that I could never do any film. Uh -huh. where I had to kiss somebody yeah. or wear clothes that were revealing. Mm -hmm. I knew I couldn't do that. Okay. Um, so that was always there. But after this Kila Ninia experience, <laughs> <laughs> I just decided that anything I do, because people interpret it as they wish, and I will not be there to explain myself, mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. I won't be involved in anything that was against my upbringing okay. and my values. Yep. My value system is so important to me. Yeah. So I limited myself hmm. on, on, on with what I, could, I would do in films. Yeah. Even though stage allowed me to do a, a few things, mm -hmm. but not film. I mean, it, it, was, it was really, really... <laughs> I can imagine the no, it trauma. Was, it, was, it was bad. <laughs> it was really bad. Thank you for watching. Subscribe and click the bell icon and get notified every time we share something interesting. We would love to have you on there.